I want to enjoy the freedom of traveling the world while I do my work. And I also want um, to help people, like I said before, to, to live an organized life. People are obsessed with how many followers do you have and they measure actually their success yeah. on the number of followers that they have. And this is like very wrong because... You know that I am the founder and CEO of Enable Good. Yeah. And let's say that we're working together so that we can actually like bring an example, bring it, you know, out to the people. So how they can actually use your skill set and your tools. And I also want you to be very specific because I think it will help a lot of people who create a product on how to create a product because this is like also very, very important. So let's take it, you know, mm -hmm. from the first question, like how would you help me actually like on social media, what would be like one, two, three, four steps to take? Mm -hmm. And maybe, for example, also like, you know, related to, to my time management and also then, you know, take it from there to the product that you have created and how this can actually like be of great value to me? Uh, first of all, I do one-to-one -one sessions cool. in order to work specifically on the brand you're creating or you already have or personal brand or business or whatever. Um, I also have one-to-ones with people that want just a refresh, for example, for their pages. And one... Again, I'm going back to mindset because, or um, if in this case, branding, a little bit of branding, yes. because one thing that people don't understand when they are, when they start working with me is that, uh, <laughs> yes, is that um, the first sessions I have with them, we are working on their values, okay. for example, on their goals yes. and their vision, mission, uh, communication pillars and stuff like this. Okay. So the first two or three sessions or one session in de depends very much on the flow or on the person that I'm working with and so much more. Uh, so basically the first sessions we um, focus on that. And then we start to work on how to create reels, how to create uh, carousels, how to create your bio, for example. We start with this. How yes, to create who am your, I, exactly. Yes. Because they're in, like, the bio is the first thing that people see when they go to your page. It's like a visit card, you know? Yes. So you have to make a good impression. <laughs> you will do this for me. Yes. So yeah, we will do that. <laughs> exactly. So... Um, yeah, in your bio, you have to take into consideration a couple of rules, let's yes. say. And then the most important or one of the most important thing is that you should provide the value or the content that you promise in your bio. So they have to be connected. Okay. You can't say in your bio, for example, that you are a travel influencer and you give tips and tricks on travel, on how to travel I don't know, with less money or whatever. Yes. And then in your feed, you post uh, receipts or, uh, I don't know, content that is not relevant to travel. Yeah. Uh, Basically, you cannot have like too much of a distance between what you actually say that you are and what you actually do. Yeah. And, but sometimes people have great difficulty incorporating, yeah. you know, one to the other and basically providing clarity. So in mm -hmm. other words, you help people and businesses provide clarity on the way that they present themselves. Mm -hmm. um, clarity. And also I help them create content in a um, creative yet productive way because people um, have this feeling that is very difficult to create a reel, for example. Like me. Yeah. But I showed you, like we discussed yes. about it the other day, there are simple steps that you can take with apps on your phone, most of them for free. And you, it's not that difficult to create, uh, this kind of content. Then you have a lot of sources, uh, for inspiration. Either we are talking about Pinterest, Google, Instagram, or nature or books, yeah. events or people yeah. and so much more. Uh, then, um, I forgot my thought. Yes. Sorry. I remember Sorry. one thing is like a social media myth. I could say, yes. Uh, people have this impression or yeah, impression that you have to have 
a very big number of followers in order to succeed or in order to sell, which is not true. Okay. I'm not saying that the number of the followers doesn't matter. I'm not saying this. I'm not saying that you don't have or it's not good to have a community. I'm not saying this. But more important than the number of the followers is the quality of them. Exactly. You know, you can have like 100, 1,000 followers, whatever, doesn't matter. One, um, 10K followers, for example, doesn't matter. But if you only have like 10 likes or two comments at your posts, it's in vain. Yes. And now you don't create this connection with people. The number very, doesn't matter. Very, very, very much like what you say. And this is like, this brings like great value because most people are obsessed with how many followers do you have? And yeah. they measure actually their success yeah. on the number of followers that they have. And this is like very wrong because it is exactly what you were saying. It is the quality, the clicks, yeah. the likes, how much you can, um, you know, you can actually like market yourself, how much you can also sell, yeah. how much you can reach out to your community, to their mindset, like create, mm-hmm. you know, good habits, bad habits, not bad habits. We will edit that. <laughs> but I mean, but how much can you actually like literally yeah. influence them like in their everyday life and start incorporating your values and your principles in their everyday life so that they make it better? I really, really value this thing. And yeah. I actually will do what we'll do is that I would love to like take this set of principles and actually like, you know, write it down for the people who watch this so that they can come back and like mm-hmm. create actually like a tiny, teeny, tiny like strategy about how and what to do. And obviously if they want to, how to reach out to you. <laughs> yeah, I just want to add briefly one more thing about <clears throat> this with the numbers. <clears throat> Instead of focusing on the number that you want to achieve, um, you should better focus on the why, like, why are you doing what you're doing yeah. over and over again, go back to the why, for example, my why is because I want to enjoy the freedom of traveling the world while I do my work. And I also want, um, to help people, like I said before, to, to live an organized and happy life. So every time I create content or I don't know, through my website or Instagram, where I speak to people even, or for example, when I, um, when I'm thinking if I should or not accept a new project or work with a new, with new people, I always go back to my why. Yes. Is this according to my values? Is this project post uh, newsletter, whatever, getting closer to the goal that I have or my mission in this life or my vision? Yes. So before looking at the numbers, look inside yourself (laughs) and reflect on your why. I really like your values. I really, 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 this is precious, actually. This is. Thank you. (laughs) Me? Yes, you are precious. The content actually that you're putting out there is precious because these sort of advice is invaluable because everybody's like literally obsessed Mm -hmm. with numbers when we should be obsessed with values and creating basically a joyful, happy, organized and creative life, if I may add. Mm -hmm. I think that this aligns very much (laughs) to where we are right now as well. Yeah, yeah. And related to the time management, for example, because at the end of the day, they are all kind of connected. Yes. Uh, I mentioned earlier that I help people to create content uh, in a creative yet productive way because creating content doesn't have to take you three hours daily. You know, you can create a content plan at the end or the beginning of the month or at the end of the month for the next month. So basically that's what you do. You help them actually like say, I will dedicate this amount of time in creating content. Okay. Let's be very specific in that. Yeah. You can be creative, yet strategic at the same time. Uh, you just need to, um, based on your values, goals, etc., create two or three pillars of communication, which are the subjects or the topics that you want to approach to speak about in your post. Of course, related to your business or personal brand or activity, whatever. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and uh, starting from there, you can, for example, brainstorm on 10 ideas on each topic, for example. Okay. Um, and brainstorming means that, uh, for example, each day you might have random ideas. Just put them on your phone or in your notebook or a voice. For example, when I'm driving and yeah, I have or new you get idea. your best ideas. Exactly, exactly. I just use voice recorder and I record myself <laughs> in order to not forget <laughs> the ideas that I have. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I have ideas when I wake up or when I'm getting to sleep and I just take my phone and I put the random with my eyes closed. Yeah. And then in the morning when I properly wake up, I'm just trying to figure out what I wanted to say. Theta waves, really good for manifesting. Yeah. 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 So, for example, you can use these ideas when you start to brainstorm. You can mm, search for inspiration, like I said earlier, online on other platforms, at, even mm -hmm. at, the, at your competitors. Yeah. But not to copy them, just see... How's the market? Yes, <laughs> exactly. And there are so many other ideas of brainstorming, of course. And yes. then you just start to create visuals and copy for each of these topics. And you just start to combine all the types of content that Instagram provides. Mm -hmm. After you decide on the um, three pillars of communication that you have, of course, related to business, your business, whatever, personal brand and so on. You just create content, um, visuals and copy for each of the topic, for each subject, for each idea that you have. And very important is to combine the, um, the tools that Instagram provides, like creating reels, but also single posts, but also carousels and see what's the one that works best for you and for your business, for your needs and so on. And another thing that I like to, and it's very funny when my clients hear that, is that you can recycle your content because people have this idea that once you post a photo, you, go. you can never repost it again. Yes. That's not true. Okay. I mean, let's be honest. If you have a new follower, that new follower won't scroll yes, to go for to two the, hours. Yes. To go, exactly. First of all, then a post that you are doing today, today, of course, is not seen by all your followers today. Yes. So maybe if you recycle it uh, in a reel, for example, or in a carousel, a couple of weeks or months after this moment, it will be seen but by other people, not by the people who saw it today. And even if it's seen by the same people, it's very important to repeat the same thing in order Again, to people order. to remember. Yes, you know? and to like, a, yeah. you know, Flavia, I want to thank you, like, from the bottom of my heart, everything that you have said, it was like, not just extremely useful, it's just, you know, it brings joy in my heart to just, you know, hear <laughs> you speak about your project and how concrete these things are and it's not like somewhere lost in space. And I believe that every each and every one of us can actually, like, in, um, uh, embrace them in our life and, you know, infuse them in our projects. And I value you very, very much thank and what you. you have done. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. New episodes coming out every Wednesday. Subscribe and never miss the good stories.